Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about absolute advantage. We'll start with the definition. The ability to produce a good using fewer inputs than another producer. Or, the ability to produce more units of a good from an input than another producer. Example 1. It takes Mark 30 minutes to change the oil in a car and one hour to wash a car. Beth needs 20 minutes to change the oil in a car and 1.5 hours to wash a car. Beth has an absolute advantage in oil changes. She needs less time, the labor input here, she needs less time to do an oil change than Mark. Mark, on the other hand, has an absolute advantage in washing cars. He needs less labor input, less time to wash a car than Beth. Let's move on to example two. In Iowa, one acre of land can grow either 1,000 bushels of corn or 500 bushels of wheat. In Oklahoma, one acre of land can grow either 500 bushels of wheat or 1,000, I'm sorry, either 500 bushels of corn or 1,000 bushels of wheat. Iowa's absolute advantage is growing corn because one acre of land produces more corn in Iowa than in Oklahoma. Oklahoma's absolute advantage is growing wheat because one acre of land produces more wheat in Oklahoma than in Iowa. And our third example, we have two countries' production possibilities frontiers for the U.S. and Canada, and we're looking at alternative outputs from one unit of labor. A person in the United States can either produce 10 units of natural gas or 10 units of steel while a person in Canada can either produce ten un or, I'm sorry, six units of natural gas or four units of steel. The U.S. has an absolute advantage in both goods. One person in the U.S. can produce more natural gas than a person in Canada. Ten is bigger than six. U.S. has an absolute advantage in steel. One person in the United States can produce more steel than a given person in Canada. Ten is greater than four. So in this example, U.S. has an absolute advantage in both goods. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.